I'm about to sound like everyone you know with a Netflix account. Stranger Things. Oh, oh, you gotta be watching Stranger Things. It's an expertly made and acted pastiche of sci-fi imagery and nostalgia. So if you do not want any spoilers for that show, turn back now, because we're about to take a very mind-bending and demogorgon-filled journey. So, like I said, spoilers. All right. The first season of Netflix's Stranger Things centers around a boy who has gone missing, taken into an otherworldly dimension that a telekinetic girl named Eleven calls the Upside Down. It's like an evil mirror of our world, reachable via Goo Portal. But could an Upside Down ever exist? And could we get there if it did? Now, most people have heard of both parallel universes and extra dimensions, and both are linked to the Upside Down in the show, and Stranger Things even gives decent explanations for each. However, these do not explain the same thing. Which one is it? When the kids ask the science teacher about the Upside Down, they mention Carl Sagan. How cool is that? What they are referencing is this clip from the original Cosmos. In it, Dr. Sagan describes what an extra dimension might look like. We exist in four dimensions right now. Front, back, side to side, up and down, plus time, the dimension song. But to have an extra dimension to all of these, they would have to be at a right angle to all of them at the same time. Like how this two-dimensional line is at a right angle to this one-dimensional dot, how this three-dimensional arrow is at a right angle to this two-dimensional sheet, or how this four-dimensional hypercube, which I'm pretty sure I didn't draw right, is at a right angle in all directions to the three-dimensional cube inside it. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> but because the characters in the show can readily see and interact with the Upside Down, it can't be some weird extra dimension like an in Interstellar or the classic book Flatland. And when the science teacher is describing how to get to the Upside Down using a sheet of paper, and he, and he does something like this, he's describing, if anything, a wormhole or warp drive, not an extra dimension. If Stranger Things is showing us a more dark, gooey version of our world filled with its own four dimensions, then a parallel something is more likely to be the upside down. But a parallel what? I could just say, some scientists believe that there might be parallel universes. All, all science communicators do that. Nah, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you with an idea that you probably haven't heard before. One that's so weird that it just might explain the upside down. I'm gonna start sounding crazy in a second, so I'm gonna put on my crazy science guy glasses. There is good reason to believe that at the bottom of everything, of reality, there are just quantum fluctuations. Everything that we are familiar with springs up from these, from data in the quantum subspace. Yeah, subspace is a real word. Now, now, uh, imagine this quantum fabric as an actual fabric. Mm, throw a bed sheet on your bed, and what does it look like? There are random scrunches and ruffles in it, right? Well, we know that they are made from the fabric, but to our eyes, it looks like they are structures, like something is emerging from that fabric. What if everything that we can see at our macroscopic scale is just this, a ruffle in the quantum fabric where data comes together randomly to make up everything? Oh, come on, I wasn't even doing the, the, the bald girl stuff moving the mind. Okay, I'm sounding even crazier now. Just a second. In this view, space and time and maybe even physical laws could just be random emergent properties from the infinite quantum tapestry of reality. It's kind of like looking at your screen too close right now for the pixels. Go ahead. I'll, okay, I'll help. See, so zoom in and you just see pixels, right? It looks like basic random data. But you zoom out and you see me. I emerge talking about the very pixels that I'm born of the universe might be like this. In this interpretation of reality, there could be two parallel realities or ruffles in the quantum fabric that are linked in a quantum way through entanglement. One might be very much like our own and the other might be dark and full of demigorgons. Entanglement would also provide a way for actions in one to affect the other and maybe even give you a way to 
get there. And if the realities are entangled enough, they may start to overlap. Hit the lights. Think of it like this. You are in what you think is a completely dark room, but then someone turns all the lights on. Your reality changes. Hit the lights. Oh no! Oh hey, there's Barb. Now, I have to say that not all physicists think that all of space-time is just a ruffle in the quantum fabric, but if this theory is true, then you could have a parallel reality. And if that is possible, then you could, at least theoretically, have Stranger Things upside down somewhere. That's where Will would be lost. Not an extra dimension, not a parallel universe, but a parallel reality that Eleven can tap into psychically via entanglement. Oh, I love sounding strange while being technically accurate. You should try it sometime. Because science. Thank you all so much for watching. Special shout out to quantum physicist Spiros Michalakis, who helped me out with so much on this episode. Thanks, dude. You're a real friend. I asked you way too many questions, and you helped me out. At Ganaleon asks, why can't Superman or any anyone like him change direction after they've been punched really hard? Well, because even if Superman can fly, he's gonna have to change his relative velocity. He's gonna add velocity to his direction so that he can change direction, you know what I mean? If you're getting hit really, really hard and fast this way, you're gonna have to add a lot of velocity the other way to start changing direction. So maybe if Superman gets punched so hard, he can't generate enough lift, however he does that, I don't know, to <laughs> change his direction and move the other way. And it would look even more physics-defying than it already does. So just keep it, keep it at, you know, keep it at the same level of wrong. <laughs>